Hi folks, Les here from Les Graham from the Peck and Dog and also Train for Life. Uh, is it now the 3rd of December? I thought it was time to get on and just give you some little tips to help you get through Christmas Day with the family and socialising and the dog and all of that lot. So um, if you haven't done so already, it'd be a really, really good idea to train your dog to go and settle down in its crate. So either in its crate, um, it's quite straightforward to train a dog to, to go in its crate. So use a bit of food, just lure it into its crate, put the food in the crate, stay in your crate or bed or whatever word you want to use, and then close the door, give the dog a little sweetie, let the dog out of the crate. So build up the amount of time that your dog is in the crate. Um, you can then build up to giving your dog a stuffed Kong or something like a yak bite or a Benny Bone. Just get your dog to be used to being its own in its own skin away from you. So either um, get your dog used to going in the crate before the big day, if you like, or in a room on its own as well. So just leave the dog in the room, go out, come back in. Similar processes to crate training, but just really get your dog being comfortable in its own skin. So that um, I would be doing that now straight away before uh, be before Christmas, get the dog used to it if, you, if he's not already used to it. And then um, the next thing to look at is to set some boundaries for your dog as well. So if if the main thing for Christmas for you is, is um, in the dining room or in the sitting room or in the kitchen, then the train starts setting it up so that your dog's not allowed in that room all of the time. So teaching the not you, which is in all of the books and there's videos on it as well. So train, train not you so you can want a room without the dog automatically following you and set some really good boundaries up as well. Get your dog used to uh, you walking around with like sweeties in your hand as well without automatically getting them. Just in case you have any little ones running around with chocolates, which we, we don't want the dog to get. So start setting some boundaries up. Uh, in your home for your dog as well it's a good thing to do to do now and also work out what you want the outcome to be on the day as well do you want a nice um festive time with your family and not have to worry about the dog uh bearing in mind that both stress and excitement generate the same physiological response in the body so the more excited your dog gets then um, there'll be a lot of adrenaline in the system so we want to try and keep the adrenaline low for the dog as well so think think about not only how you're going to plan the day for your family you know whether that's um people coming or you going to them or um you, you know the order for cooking what you've got to do when also think about what you're going to do with your dog during those times so a really good thing would be for you to have some fun with the family take the dog for a walk tire the dog out and then put the dog away before your guests arrive um, and just let them rest. It's not the end of the world for your dog to spend a few hours on its own. Christmas to dog means absolutely nothing. It's 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 just an overexciting day. It doesn't mean anything to a dog. So pop your dog away, enjoy the time with your family, focus on your family. And then when everything's calmed down a little, all the presents are done, all the excitement and running around is done, then bring your dog in and you, you you know if you're like me i get prezzies for my dogs and i wrap them up and it's great fun but when we're opening with prezzies the dogs aren't in the room i don't want that level of um, excitement or stress so we have our christmas and then i leave a couple of prezzies under the tree for the dogs and then we get the dogs to open them and then it's their time we have a lovely time with the dogs so don't feel as if you can't include the dog but all i'm saying is um you, you know, enjoy your time with your family, enjoy your time with your dog, but don't necessarily enjoy them at the same time because it just leads to stress and we can do without that at Christmas, as you know. So have have a really good time with your dog, have a really good time with your family, have an amazing Christmas and it's just so good to have a Christmas again, isn't it? And have family around and um, not, fingers crossed, fingers crossed not have to worry about uh, coronavirus. So um, do some crate training if you haven't already. Set some boundaries up for your dog and think about boundaries for your family arriving as well. You know, set some boundaries for them as well with the dog. Um, on the day, take your dog for a nice walk. 
play a game with them, tire them out a bit, and then pop them away while you can focus on the festivities with your family. It's not the end of the world for him to be on his own for a few hours. It's just another day as far as the dog's concerned. And then get your dog in, in, in with the family again, but keep it really low key. Because remember stress, excitement, exactly the same physiology, uh, physiological response to the body. So have a great Christmas and take care and um, yeah, enjoy being with your family.